People in Sunnyside gathered last night for a vigil in downtown to remember the two teens who were killed last Friday. Hunter Phipps was there and has more. On the corner of 6th and Edison, people from Sunnyside gathering together to remember two young lives tragically lost last Friday. Some who came didn't know Maurice and Isaac Hernandez personally, but still wanted to support. When you grow up in a, com in a community, how close we are in Sunnyside, and, and most of us were born and raised here, um, and we see this happen, it's very upsetting. So I just, you know, give my condolences to the family. Those who did know the two teens shared their personal stories. He was a fun, funny kid. He walked with my son, played around in my house. From then on, it became this regular thing. I would wait by the door and I'd see him running out to recess. He'd see me and it was just like I'd just get ready and wait for him and watch this kid come full speed at me, ready to slam into me. And According to the organizer of the vigil, the family of the two teens did not come for safety reasons. An aunt who did come offered her remarks. This has been hard for my family, hard to understand. I don't know why this happened to my nephews. Now a community with heavy hearts looks at making change while the memory of the two teens lost still burns in the hearts of those who knew and loved them. I just hope that we also step up to the plate as parents, as community members, um, to to see how we can also for the, you know, better our community for the future of our children, our grand grandchildren. Hunter Phipps, Action News. Well, this incident marks the first two homicides reported in Yakima County this year. Anyone with information is asked to call Sunnyside Police. We have that contact info on our website, kimatv.com.